Hi, I'm Taylor Smurl. And I'm Tommy Smurl. And this is... Neat. Neat! Well, hello, Dad. How are you? Well, hello, Tater. I'm good. I'm just licking my lips and waiting to sink them into these mint juleps. That is right. That is right. Uh, over on the podcast, we talked all about the history of the... Uh, not, not American in origin, but very associated with the American South, the classic cocktail that is the mint julep. So we're going to be making a classic mint julep today and a little bit of a modified mint julep for you. I cannot wait to put my two lips on the juleps. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, of course, you know, if you don't have one of these silver or perhaps pewter if you're fancy, julep cups, you can still drink a mint julep, but they are best out of these nice quickly chilled cups. That's the thing. They get cooled really quickly. They hold the chill really nicely. They also just look beautiful. So this is our first ingredient. The good you got, a nice, got a nice bottom on them that you can hold it by so that your the heat transfer from your hand doesn't get in there or your hand doesn't get cold. I noticed that these have like the, the like the fabric-y trophy basin. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. They won't slide around on you, you know, if you're a little... Uh little sauce they're not gonna click over real, yeah. real easy yeah i'm gonna try to convince people i won the horse race there and that's go. what i'm drinking out of my silver <laughs> cup i came in second twice classic mint julep is a very simple drink but the devil is sort of in the details so you you want to pay attention to each step uh the first of which of course is the mint you want to have like a good six to eight even uh fresh mint leaves that you're gonna throw in the glass you're gonna be drinking out of do we bruise it? Yep. You can smack it. I mean, you're also going to muddle it lightly. Now, like, as we mentioned on the Bad podcast. Mint. Bad mint. <laughs> some, some people do not muddle their mint at all. They just stir it. I'm a fan of the gentle muddle. Now that we have our mint in there, uh, we're going to add our sweetener. Now, traditionally, a, um, a mint julep would have been used with like, raw sugar or a sugar cube that you would have muddled down in there with the mint. But to get that uh, even dispersal of the sweetener, a simple syrup is probably a little bit easier. If you want to do it the classic way, that's totally cool. But we're going to use a simple syrup. Um, and you can use anywhere from a quarter ounce to a half ounce. Kind of depends on how sweet you want. But remember, this is a bourbon forward drink. This is not meant to be a light, refreshing, tall drink. This is a bourbon drink. So I'm going to stick with a quarter ounce. And we're going to uh, just lightly muddle our sugar and mint together. Well, I was stirring it around the inside of the cup too, because I remembered them saying that uh, you should coat the inside of the cup with the mint oil. Yep. All right, and then we're gonna do two to two, two and a half, three ounces, if you know you're feeling it, of your bourbon of choice. Uh, I've got Woodford Reserve, the sponsor of the Kentucky Derby. I believe I've got the exact same thing. Yeah, you do. So what we're gonna do to now is we're going to add some crushed ice. You don't wanna like create the mound that you see yet. You're just gonna add like a pretty much fill up the glass with crushed ice because then we're gonna stir it and then we're gonna top it with more crushed ice. As we talked about on the podcast, uh, if you don't have a crushed ice machine at home, because who does? Uh, you, literally, you just need a kitchen towel. And I used my hammer. I just filled up my kitchen towel with ice cubes from the fridge, like one by one ice cubes. Beat them until they were nice and like little chunks. And this is this is totally totally fine. You know, if you don't have chipped ice, it's fine. Now my refrigerator dispensed crushed ice, but it's not crushed to what I think that the standards are for this drink. So I got a baggie full of crushed ice, wrapped it in a towel and went out and beat the hell out of it with my hammer. <laughs> also just fun, right? It's nice to just beat, yeah. beat the hell out of some ice. That's right. Now you don't want to stir this like in intensely. You really just want to stir it until it gets a good chill on the outside of the glass. Cause we're not trying to dilute it too much. That crushed ice is going to dilute rapidly. Uh, so you're really just incorporating your ingredients. All right. Well, it's looking good and the glass is frosting up. Yeah. We're going to just top it off with a nice little aesthetic mound of ice. Oops. Oh, all the way up to the top of the cup, huh? 
Oh yeah, you want that nice little snow cone effect going on. All right. All right, so I need my sprig in there. Yes, the last ingredient is a nice, big, healthy, luxurious sprig of mint that you want to give a few smacks to release those oils and just stick right down in there. All right. There's your mint julep. Cheers. Cheers. I'm just gonna sit here and snip it for a minute. Oh, that's really good. Well, and when made correctly, uh, you're probably noticing this. It does not taste like a sweet, refreshing cocktail. It tastes like no, it, slightly modified bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe the only uh, misconception with the mint julep is I think people see like the mint and all the crushed ice and they think it's gonna be like a mojito and it's mm -hmm. not. It's really like an old fashioned that's been stretched out a little bit and maybe diluted a little bit more. No, that's really good. But it's like it said, the most important thing of this is it needs to be well balanced and it, you have to remember it is a bourbon forward drink. You're exactly. not drinking something that's a punch or something like that. It's a bourbon drink. Yeah. All right, so our second drink, uh, Dad mentioned that in his research, he came across uh, a mint julep that was made with honey subbed in for the sugar. Now, that is a tiny little change, uh, but as we talked about also on the podcast, a simple change to a simple drink can make an entirely new cocktail. So why not try it out? Yeah, from a simple man. <laughs> for our second julep we're going to do basically the same thing we're going to start off with six to eight fresh mint leaves and we're just going to use a two to one honey syrup quarter ounce to a half ounce depending on how you like things in place of the simple syrup i got new york state honey that's as fancy as i got Diana will probably get upset that I didn't use Savannah Bee honey. That's true. You got those Savannah Bee honey connections. You got to use those. That's right. All right. Same as before. We're going to give the uh, honey and mint a little bit of a muddle. Honey and mint. Muddle that honey and mint. Sliding it around on the sides of the cup. Spreading the mint around. Spreading the enjoyment. And I'm drinking it with wonderment. You and this bit were really meant to be. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna do the same, uh, same bourbon, same two and a half ounces. That worked for me the first time. All right, me too. Yeah, I almost wished I'd put more in, so two and a half is enough. All right. I sit up for the stir. All right, now, now we snowball it. Top, yep. Now, since we're doing um, a, a little alteration on the classic, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bitters to mine. It's not the classic way of doing it, but I, I like a little bit of bitters in my mint julep. Uh, so we're breaking one rule, might as well break some more. Breaking Just the law, top. breaking the law. You know, it adds a little bit of color too, makes it look like a snow cone. I've got my mint garnishment in there. But it also said in there that you could use some honeycomb for a garnishment. So my honey that I got, my raw honey, came with honeycomb in it. Ooh, fancy. I'm putting a sprig of honeycomb in mine. A sprig? Is that the measurement? There's my sprig of honey. I bet it'll look nice. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Modern art, great job. There Cheers. you go. Cheers. Beep. Trying to taste for any kind of change, but it tastes about the same. I think that there's a pretty pronounced difference for me. Oh yeah? Uh, but I mean, I threw some bitters in there. I'm licking the honey off my gouger. That's what you get honeycomb out of the bottle with a gouger. <laughs> the thing is, uh, simple syrup, as we mentioned, has a texture. It doesn't have an intense flavor that's not just sweet, but honey has a flavor. It has an earthy flavor. It has a little bit of a savory note to it, a little bit of an earthiness to it. Um, so that is definitely playing in with the bourbon, but I like this. Uh, yeah, like, you know, like you don't 
honey is also not the concentrated sweetness you get from simple syrup. So this drink is maybe even more so bourbon forward, but there's more going on. So I don't taste the bourbon as much. Well, I'll say that I do taste the bourbon a little bit more in this one, I think, but I didn't throw the bitters in. You know, the mint, the mint julep is a simple drink. Uh, it's simple to make and it's simple to modify. So And simple to drink. Simple to sit, yes, absolutely. Pick up the cup, put it to your, put the julep to your tulips. Ah, and Make partake. sure not to get blinded by the mint sprig. It's gonna constantly yeah. be winking. Mm. Blinded by the light. Mm. And then as a snack, you can lick on the honeycomb. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna say, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty hearty little snack there, some honeycomb. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. There are your uh, mint julep, classic mint julep, uh, honey mint julep, slightly altered mint julep. Still pretty close to the cuff, pretty classic. Uh, but I urge you- You want a mint julep, honey? This is great. And I think, you know, this is good to say, if you are a stirred and strong drinker, don't be afraid of this cocktail. This is a great summer version of a strong, like spirit forward cocktail. Uh, it's, it's a little bit more refreshing. It's a little bit more vibrant but it still is very, very bourbon focused. Uh, as always, the uh, recipes for these two drinks will be down below. Uh, and uh, thank you, Dad, for being here. Well, thank you, Taylor, for having me and juliping me. And uh, of course, if you want to find us on social media, you can find us at Neat Boozecast on Twitter and Instagram. If you wanna uh, join our Patreon, we have one of those. Uh, you can get coasters and stickers and you can be part of our bespoke cocktail club, which uh, this week, we uh, if you are part of it already, you'll get a notification if you're one of the lucky, lucky participants, depending on who's making your drink, uh, chosen for it, you will, you will hear- Lucky or luckier. <laughs> there you go, yeah. If you would like to email us, you can email us at meettheboozecast at gmail.com. And if you want to find us on Facebook, Dad's got a Facebook group. Tell them all about it. Meet the Boozecast. It's a group. We're That's, there. There it is. That's it. Uh, there you go. Outside of that, uh, if you like us, you are welcome to like, to subscribe, uh, get updates when these videos release. Uh, we would love that. Yep, smash the subscribe. Just smash, smash it. Smash the hell out of it. M muddle. Oh, like, just like, yeah, muddle and smash and, and crush the ice. Mm -hmm. Hey, I've been Taylor Smurl. And I've been Tommy Smurl. And this has been... Neat! <laughs> I like that... Uh, there's the the traditional southern cocktails that we've covered so far, the Sazerac and the mint julep. Like, they're the same thing, right? It's like, do you want to drink a bunch of rye with some stuff in it? Do you want to drink <laughs> a bunch of bourbon with some stuff in it?